Hi guys, so today we're going to solve the problem fractional knapsack. So the question says given weights and values of n items, we need to put these items in a knapsack of capacity w to get the maximum total value in the knapsack. And note, unlike 0 and knapsack, you're not allowed to break the item. Okay, so this is a pretty famous question and many of you might know what a fractional knapsack problem is. So the, what the problem says is that we're given an abstract something like this and we need to add and we're given a values, away, values list and a weights list and we're given a maximum capacity of it. So what we need to do in this question is we need to add values. Suppose I add 10 over here, right? And then I add 20 over here. So what I get is 30 as a total weight, but I need, I can also add 20 more by breaking this 30 down into 20 right if then I can add 20 more okay then I can get 50 so this is what actually the fractional knapsack problem is either it's different from you know the 0 and knapsack which is stated over here it's which says that you have to either add the whole of 30 or you don't need to add any of the 30 so that's what 0 and knapsack is in fractional knapsack you can add you can break down the problem into the you know, break down the last element into you know a smaller amount of, of how much ever you want so that's typically it but what also we have to take care that we need to you know add these elements in such a way that we get the maximum profit out of it so the values are pretty, pretty much like the profits of them so if i so when i added 10 over here i got a value profit of 60 Right, then I added this 20 over here, I got a profit of 100. And now when I add this 30 over here, actually we, uh, we break that 30 down to 20 and when we add it, we get only 80 over here. Right, so if you think about it, like this is 30, then 10 will have a value of 40, 10 will 40, 10 will have a value of 40. So that's pretty, pretty much how it's 120. So when we add this, we get a profit of 240. Okay, now this 240 and this 240 coming are pretty much just coincidental it's not because i uh, i solved it like this i just took these values and just added them okay so this is actually what the fractional knapsack problem is that you just need to you're given a knapsack and you need to add weights into them in such a way that you get the maximum profit out of it okay so all right so now how we'll solve this problem is we'll just take the ratio of them so we'll take v by w which is value by weight and after doing that we can see that we get six five and four right now the ratios that we get in this problem is okay we get the ratios and what we need to do with these ratios we sort them in descending order okay after sorting these ratios in descending order we'll get 654 only and before sorting them what we'll just do is we'll just store them in another array with their indexes so 6 with 0 5 with 1 and 4 with 2 we'll just sort them over here like this and we'll store them in an array after sorting so after sorting below again we'll just get six five and four okay now what we'll do is we'll create two variables so the first variable will be s which will be the sum of total weights and another one will be total which will be the total profit we'll get okay so this is s this is t so now what we'll do is we'll loop through this array this one and will first go to 6 okay now we'll check the weight of the value at 6 so we have the we stored the index here so the index is 0 so we can use this index to go inside this you know weights array and check the current weight of this so it's 10 right so what we'll do is we'll we'll keep a check where s plus the current weight so s plus the current weight we're getting so here 10 so 0 plus 10 is it less than 50 or not so yeah it is less than 50 so what we'll do is if it is less than 50 then we'll just multiply this 6 
with the weight given which is 10 so 6 into 10 over here okay so this will be a part of the total so this will be a part of the total and with this here we'll have 10 now we go to the next element which is 5 and 1 so what we'll do again is we'll check if 20 so we have the weight 20 over here we can access it by using this index 1 so if 20 plus the current weight which is current total sum of weights which is 10 so if 20 plus 10 which is 30 is less than 50 or not so it is less than 50 so if it is less than 50 we'll just add this to total so what we'll add is 50 5 into 20 will be added to total so 5 into 20 will be added to total okay like this and when we go to 4 and 2 now what we'll do is we'll check uh, yeah we'll check 4 oh, sorry we'll check the weight 30 which we can access by 2 we'll check if 30 plus the current total weight which is again 30 which is this is because of 10 plus 20 30 and this is the current weight 30 so if 10 30 plus 30 60 is less than 50 or not so if it's not less than 50 then what we'll do is we'll, we'll just do something like w minus s so what is w minus s is 20 so what we'll do is w minus s times uh yeah so w minus s times this 4 which we are given okay so this will be the condition when you know the weight is less uh sorry the, yeah the to, um, capacity of the knapsack is less than the total weights we get so when we do this so w minus s will be your 20 and we'll add this 20 to this as well so this will become 50 now so we add this to 50 uh, this s to 50 and we get this 20 and we multiply it with 4 and when we add all of them up what we get is 60 plus 100 plus 20 which is 60 plus 800 plus 80 which is exactly this and we get the total as 240 over here okay so this is pretty much how you solve the problem so the first step is taking the ratio after taking the ratio we store them we store the ratios with the indexes in an array and then we sort them after sorting them we just you know check if the current weight is less than current weight plus the total amount of weights is less than the capacity of the knapsack if it is then we'll just multiply the ratio of v which we get which is six so example six and with the current weight which is 10 and similarly for 5 and 20 and 20 and 4 and when we just add them up and we'll get the total profit maximum profit of the napsa maximum profit the napsa can get us okay so now let's solve this so to solve this first we'll create an array okay so one minute yeah what we'll do is we'll create an array we'll create a total equal to zero and s equal to zero so we'll do is for i n range n so x is equal to items of i dot value slash items of i dot weight so this is the ratio, uh, this ratio ratio step, which we, which I said before, and we'll just append these ratios in this array. Okay, as x comma i. Now, after storing them, we'll just sort them. Yeah, after storing them, we'll just sort them in descending order 
and now what we do is for i in range of n so what we'll do is we check if s plus so if s plus items of a r r of i of one is less than weight i of one dollar weight is less than the total weight which is w then total plus equals items of array of i of 1 dot value and s plus equals items of ar of i of 1 dot weight and else what we'll do is we'll just do the total equal to plus equal to w minus s times ar of i of 0 and then we'll just break the array we'll just break and we'll return total so let's run the code Yeah, and submitting it. So yeah, it's submitted, guys. So, uh, so if you guys want to get a more, you know, proper explanation on what the fractional knapsack is, I'll link below Abdul Bari's video, which is a very good video and very explain what the how, you know, what a fractional knapsack is. It's like very good. I think you guys should, you know, check that out. And yeah, this is all for today's video. And if you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.